Hello friends, welcome. My name is Radhika Vyas. I am from other college Hingoli. I am studying in BSc second year. Today I am going to represent Leibniz test. First we must know what is mean by alternating series. Alternating series is a series whose terms are alternatively positive and negative. So statement of our theorem is if the alternating series u1 minus u2 plus u3 minus u4 up to minus 1 raised to n into u n, where u n is greater than 0 for all n is such that u n plus 1 is less than u n and limit u n is equals to 0, then series converges. So prove let s n is equals to u1 minus u2 plus u3 minus u4 plus up to minus 1 raised to n into u n for all n. Now s to n is equals to u1 minus u2 plus u3 minus u4 plus up to u2 n minus 1 minus u2 n and s to n plus 2 is equals to u2 equals to u1 minus u2 plus up to u2 n minus 1 minus u2 n plus u2 n plus 1 minus u2 n plus 2. This implies this s2 n minus s2 n is equals to u2 n plus 1 minus u2 n plus 2 is greater than equals to 0. This implies just that s2 n plus 2 is greater than s2 n. Hence, sequence s n is monotonic increasing. Again, we can write s2 n. Now, we are inserting brackets but do not altering the order of the term. So, we can write s2 n is equals to u1 bracket u2 minus u3 bracket close minus up to bracket u2 n minus 2 minus u2 n minus 1 bracket close minus u2 n but since u n plus 1 is less than equals to u n each bracket on right is positive this implies that s2 n is less than u1 so we can say that Sequence s yes to n is bounded and hence converged to s c. So that is limit s yes to n is equals to s. Yes. So now s yes to n plus 1 is written as s yes to n plus 1 is equals to s yes to n plus u to n plus 1. So we can write limit s yes to n plus 1 is equals to limit s yes to n plus limit s yes to n plus 1. So, we get yes. That is also sequence s yes to n plus 1 is also convergent to yes. Since sequence s yes to n and sequence s yes to n plus 1 are can for epsilon is greater than 0 there exists m1 comma m2 such that mod of s2 n minus n is less than epsilon for all n greater than equals to m1 and mod of s2 n plus 1 minus s is less than epsilon for all n greater than equals to m2 and n is greater than equals to maximum of m1 comma m2 so mod of s n minus s is less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to maximum of m1 comma m2 this implies that limit s n equals to s hence we prove our theorem